we are after the discussion with uh, our readers and uh, my first question to you is how can the government reduce migration of good professionals and encourage them to work in the country of origin, Romania, yes. our case of course. I think that's very important and doctors like really two things. Um, one, they like to work in a good environment with good facilities, good equipment, good nursing staff um, and an open, fair system for the patients because really doctors like to practice their medicine well. So I think um, providing good hospitals and services is one thing. The second thing is I think payment is important because I think everybody knows that there is a lot of under the table payment which I think doctors don't like taking but the young doctors I don't think anybody likes it you know the official wage of a young doctor in Romania is around 200 euros yes and I think even older doctors don't like it but after you have done it for many years it becomes normal so I think you have to give them a fair salary so that they're not needing to do that and uh, but otherwise it's very tempting to go to another country to have better facilities so and I think these are difficult times because every country in Europe has financial pressures not just Romania so maybe one thing they can do is encourage the private sector to collaborate with the public sector and work together to invest in facilities and so on don't you think that the solution would be to uh, improve the private sector of health system? Well, that, that is what I mean, that um, if they encourage the private sector to grow and collaborate, just working on its own isn't enough. It's got to work also with the public sector, so maybe it complements the services. That will allow the private sector to grow and it will allow the government money in the public sector to focus on the things the private sector doesn't do. So I think it's both together. Okay. Domnișoară Butolo, uh, peste câteva zile, săptămâni, aveți de susținut un examen foarte greu de rezidențiat. Sunteți student în ultimul an al facultății de medicină. Vă așteaptă un salariu mic? Uh, foarte mic. Un spital uh, dificil? Uh, ce poate face guvernul? Ce pot face oamenii care conduc țara ca să vă păstreze aici? În primul rând, trebuie să-și dea seama că viitorul suntem noi și dacă noi plecăm peste 10-15 ani, vor avea o problemă când vor încerca să ajungă la un spital și să se trateze de vreo boală, pentru că cei bătrâni probabil vor ieși la pensie, vor rămâne din ce în ce mai puțin și din cunoștințele mele, cei mai buni dintre colegii mei pleacă. Cei care s-au străduit mai puțin în timpul facultății sau poate au o susținere din partea părinților, rămân. Trebuie să, în primul rând, să ne, să ne ofere un salariu mai bun și când zic mai bun, mă gândesc măcar la o limită de, de trai. În momentul de față, dacă nu suntem din București, nu ne putem plăti uh, o chirie, o întreținere din cei 180 de euro, 200. Uh, Miss Butolo is talking about uh, the very, very low wage. Uh, I don't know, is it any solution to, to this dilemma? With the state doesn't have money, enough funds, enough money to, to pay them, the young doctors. So, of course, the young doctors want to, to mm. go abroad and work there. From what I know, I, I obviously I am still studying your system, but my understanding is that many patients pay black money under the counter. And actually the doctors don't like discussing that with them. I think maybe if co-payment was allowed, then in, they pay the same money, but it's not black money, it's open, and then the doctors can discuss openly what the money is for, for extra equipment, for extra medicines, and so on. Because I think at the moment, the patient not only pays for the doctor, but 
they also pay for the medicines and the consumables, which is very complicated. And I think doctors would prefer to say, OK, the price is this, this is from the government tariff, and this is a co-payment. So I, that, I think, is one solution. I think it needs more. Yes, but um, how would you try to convince the Romanians that the co-payment is the best choice for our future in medicine? Because uh, after uh, the de last decision of the government, uh, the incomes of Romanians are for many under 100 euro. What would you tell them to convince that uh, co-payment is the best choice? I mean, you ask them an extra yeah. uh, <coughs> money for medical uh, services. And, and there is another problem. If you have co-payment, how do you know that the doctors won't ask for extra money as well? So that is a problem. Um, but if you can stop that, then the idea is not that co-payment is more money, but it's the money that is under the table. You make that. So I think people in Romania are paying that money already. I think the problem is to make that open. And of course, if you do that, you get taxation from that money. At the yes. moment, the black money has no tax. But it's very difficult. In any country where you have many, many years and everybody is doing that, to change like that is very difficult. Everybody must want to do it.